Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Well, finally the weather's uh, improved down here today. We got low 70s, low wind, sunny, blue sky. So it's uh, time for me to do some uh, upgrades and mods. And first on my list was adding a pair of solar panels. Right around uh, when I got down here around Christmas time, a little bit before, I decided to get two more 100 watt energy panels. They were on sale for something like $95 or something. So I picked up two more and I've attached them on this part of the RV, RV near the back. And they'll complement my other four that I have up here. Swing back here. I've had these for quite a while. So I started off my boondocking system with a pair. Those are the original ones. They're about four or five years old now and they're still working well. Then I added the second pair and went to uh, 400 watts. Then the other year I added a ground panel, you can see down there, for 500 watts. So now I'm up to 700 watts. And I decided since I was putting two more panels on here that I would change the wiring a bit. And see I have those two parallel together down there and there's there's two wires coming from them and you can see the original were paralleled and they had two wires and then the other two were paralleled and they had two wires so I had six wires originally I just ran the wires all the way down to my controller but since I was doing this I decided to change things a bit so I thought about maybe putting a junction box up on the roof but uh, Luckily where my uh, wiring goes down is in a wall so I thought why don't I put the junction in the wall and give myself an access panel rather than putting the junction box on the roof it kind of you could get a waterproof box but it's still kind of exposed up here on the roof so I ran the new wires down so I have all six wires going down and we'll go down and I'll show you what uh, kind of mod I did to the wall and what I've done behind my trimetric monitor there to tie everything together. Oh, while well, I'm up here, uh, I mounted them the same way I mounted the, the panels up front. I just used the Renogy Z brackets there and then the screws that came along with them. What I do is I drill a pilot hole, 1 8 uh, inch drill bit, and then I take the screw and I dip it into die core. And then I, I screw it in but I don't screw past where it's biting. I don't get try to strip the hole because you're just screwing into, on this side, it's a 3 8 uh, panel on my rig. Over here, I've probably caught into a, a beam, so that's kind of nice on the edge there. And then, usually I'll go through and uh, put die core over it. I kind of ran, ran out of my sealant. I got to get some more. But I'll cover the whole foot there. Let me show you on the front here. I also use a turnabon tape um, just to keep the wires in place. So I don't have to put any other holes in there. It seems to work well. I did that at the front here. You can see the, the tape with the wire leads. Yeah, you can see there the way the feet are covered. And that's worked well for my rig. These panels are still on solid. And like I say, they've been on there almost five years I think. I think I did it in like 2013 or 14. Anyway, they're, they're, they're on there solid and this rig's seen a lot of uh, rough roads as you as you can know <laughs> from my other videos. Here's my latest mod installing this panel. So I'm inside the toilet room and this wall is where my solar wiring was run down because that uh, plumbing pipe ran in the wall. I knew if I followed it I could run the wires down through it. So early on I had uh, punched out a hole and mounted the, my trimetric monitor here. So now that I'm redoing the wiring I decided why don't I just open up this to, and put an access panel in it and then I can have my wiring distribution behind it instead of being on the roof. So I really wanted to find one with a with a door that would open, but this is all I could find at Home Depot for the time being. I might change that in the future. So I mounted my trimetric in it. Now with 
these have tabs that you can open and this access panel will pop open. So let me do that and I'll show you how I have the wiring behind there. There we go. It doesn't take much, just a little twist of the screwdriver pops these tabs. And all I did was uh, use some silicone to mount it, just in case I changed my mind. Let's put that out of the way. Now you can see behind, I've taken some bus bars, and uh, so I've got my uh, three wires for positive and negative coming into the bus bar. Negative bus bar, positive bus bar. And then what I did is I used to have all the wiring going down to the charge controller. I've replaced that with a new run of four gauge wire coming from these bus bars. And they're making the run down to the charge controller in the front bay where the batteries are. Also added up here uh, a switchable breaker. It's 40 amp for protection. And also I can easily here I can just go in if I want to turn my solar panel array off on the roof to do some work or anything I can just pop that and it'll turn off the array. So yeah I thought that would be a convenient place for my distribution box rather than sitting on top of the roof. I think it's worked out pretty good. And you can see with the extra two panels I'm getting 27.4 amps right now. And this is really, we're just a few days off the minimum solar day. The, the solstice was just about a week ago, so the sun angle is really still quite low. So that's pretty good compared. I'm probably pushing out uh, five or six more amps than I was without those panels. Charging up the old battery bank. So let's go down and show you the rest of the, the route of the wires. Then those two four gauge wires come down the wall and inside the bathroom cabinet here I cut out an access port there and you can see them coming out and then down behind the plumbing and then there's a hole that goes into my basement storage down there. So those other two thin wires are for the trimetric monitor. They're a data cable and a power cable. Uh, this orange wire is coming off my inverter and I just wired it into a box so that we have a, a plug in our bedroom. That's what that's all about. So let's go below and we'll show you where it continues to run. So that's the vent pipe there that the wires are going down beside and they're going straight down a wall there and then over through the bathroom cabinet and then they're dropping through the floor here right on this corner is where the plumbing comes down and then there's a hole in there you can see it right there so uh, convenient enough to run the wires through down along there and then I drilled some holes through to the other side to the front compartment where the batteries live. So then the wires come through that wall out to the other side and straight into my solar charge controller. And also here's where the the wires from the ground panel come in. And what I did is uh, rather than making a junction here I just uh, took back some of the insulation on these um, wires and then I wrapped and soldered the wires onto them to join them up. So we got seven 100 watt panels in parallel going into this uh, Bogart uh, charge controller. Then out from there we've got a four gauge wire through a, a breaker through uh, fuses and into the, the lithium battery bank here. If you've been following my videos for quite some time, you know how my system has slowly evolved. But if you're just coming in new to my videos, um, my boondocking system evolved over year over year as I could afford it. Um, we only boondock about four months out of the year, so we didn't want to pour a lot of cash right away into a complete system. You can go and spend eight, ten thousand dollars pretty easy. So it was kind of as I could afford it. I'd add a piece, get a Christmas present, add another piece. And keep going so the videos have been going along in stages as a, as I've developed the system so if you want to go back and see some of those videos I'll leave a link 
in the description to uh, I have a solar playlist on YouTube and also have a solar section on my on my website so I'll link that that uh, the description if you want to check out more videos about the evolution of my system to the state it is now well there you go we'll look at what I've been up to one of the mods I've been doing out here in the desert now that the sun's shining and the the temperatures have risen so yeah that system's going to work really well I got my ground panel and I have solar panels on the front but those ones on the back are going to come in handy say I get twisted around in a in a park or something state park and I'm not able to get good good uh, angle on the front panels at least I'll have two at the back or if something gets shaded say I'm out on a tree or something I'll still have panels here and there now um before anybody says anything yes I can tilt them you can tilt them you'll get up to 30 percent more power but I prefer not to be climbing up on my roof all the time mainly because we travel a lot we don't spend a huge amount of time in one spot maybe a week maximum two weeks also the less time on the roof the better and I have still lots of space on the roof so I could really paper the the roof with them and you can see solar panels have really dropped in price and also yes I know I'm running a P PWM controller and not an MPP controller. Yes, I'm well aware. Thanks very much. <laughs> so anyway, till next time, Ray from loveyrv.com. Thanks for watching, folks. Cheers.